children come back to geography second chapter today's our topic is land use children we all know that land can be used for many purposes such as we built roads our houses on it agriculture we do and setting up of industries and mining etc this is commonly termed as land use another thing is the determinants we have to see here physical factors like soil climate topography mineral water availability etc and another thing is their human human factors such as population and technology so based on the technology availability of particular available in particular region you have human factors that come into play and then you might have uh, construction of uh, bridges airports roads etc then human intervention can take place however based on the soil quality climate are the determinants what kind of activity can take place in a particular activity we have now based on the ownership land can be classified into private land and community land private land is owned by an individual community land is owned by community the houses we built on the land that is a private that is a private land which is owned by you then comes the community land the garden government gardens the road base etc which we use comes under the community land this uh, community land is also known as what common property resources important terminology in recent days uh, where there has been more focus on betterment and improvement of the common property resources that exist and uh, funding for for these common property resources uh, from where it comes it come from local bodies for example municipal corporation of the city would look after it and uh, in villages and all panchayat look after it now as the population is uh, growing their demands are also increasing but the land is limited people started buildings commercial complexes housing complexes and also they expanded the agricultural land in the rural areas so land degradation landslides soil erosion defor de de desertification are the major threats to the environment today because of these agriculture expansion of agriculture and uh, construction of the different activities we have today see the picture given here there are four pictures given here the first picture you can see uh, with uh, more land for uh, agriculture and uh, second picture you can see some of the pakka houses and all tractors and all we are we were using new technology for construction for uh, doing agriculture etc little land has become little limited then the third picture you can see the land became little congested agriculture land has been decreased then the fourth picture we can see very busy very busy very busy life 
more congested it became this is a change in land use over time so how to conserve this land resource this is our next topic so with the growing of population the demands are also grown so there is a large destruction of forest cover and arable land this thing has created a fear in the laws of this land resource so what is the solution for this how can we conserve it the present rate of degradation of land must be checked when we come to land degradation what is the solution that we should plant more and more trees and also we should limit the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides which can decrease the fertility of soil then also then again one more thing is that you can we have to check the overgrazing this are the some common methods used to conserve the land resources